Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hey Mark, the podcast where I, Mark, get to talk about different challenges and adversities that we overcome. Whether it's regards to your mental health, your physical health, your home life, your family life, any entrepreneurial stuff that you're going through, or really just anything that you have going on in your life, anything that you are unhappy with that you want to make a change in. Now, sometimes I get to interview people, but today I got to do something a little bit different. What is this video of, you're asking me? And let me tell you, this weekend, I got to go for a cold plunge with two of my good friends, one of them being my roommate, Aiden, who you obviously have seen quite a bit of, and then the other person that came with us is Cody, who you've also seen a lot of. And so if you wanna go and check out what these guys have to say, you can check out the Two Boys One Couch video with Aiden, my roommate. You can check out the copious interviews I've done with Cody as well, or the original interview that I did with Aiden, which I think was episode two of this podcast. So if you wanna go and check out those, that I really implore you to go and check those episodes out and hear what these gentlemen have to say because both of them are extremely inspiring and motivating guys. A while back on one of the last episodes that I did with Cody, we talked about doing cold plunges and not that he challenged me to do it, but he did invite me to come out and do a cold plunge with him. And I kind of see every invitation as a challenge or a way to kind of challenge myself or an opportunity for growth But basically he invited me to go for a cold plunge. I kind of was intimidated by it. So I decided I have to do it. And I brought Aiden along with me. He was more than happy to come along because same kind of mindset applies for him. Now, I don't even really know all the benefits of doing a cold plunge. I'll be 100% honest. So if you're curious about that kind of stuff, then go and look up the benefits. There's tons of them from boosting your immune system to having a more healthy adrenaline system and all these other health benefits as well. But the main reason I wanted to go was to challenge myself both mentally and physically. Now, you might be asking me, what is a cold plunge? To give you an idea, if you've ever heard of a polar bear swim, it's pretty similar to that. Basically, what we did was we went up to a place in North Vancouver where there is glacier runoff water, a little river, a stream you could call it, where it's about neck deep. We jump in the freezing cold water, stay in as long as you possibly can, and then get out. And basically it's an exercise that's going to help you out with both physical challenges and mental challenges. Now obviously there are some risks involved, so before you go and jump into freezing cold water, make sure if you have any health issues or you might feel worried about that kind of thing, probably want to speak to your doctor about it first. I don't want to be liable for anybody that just jumps into freezing cold water right now but I'm just letting you know that this is what I did this weekend and I wanted to list off the reasons why I did it as well. Why did I want to do this? Essentially, it's a little bit of my ego kind of coming out to play. I wanted to go and basically challenge myself to do something that scared me and do something that I knew was going to be difficult, both mentally and physically. Because once you get in that freezing cold water, well, before you even get in the freezing cold water, you got to walk through the cold woods to find this place and you're pretty much stripping down to just shorts in the middle of winter in Vancouver, which obviously isn't the coldest part of Canada, but it's not the warmest part of the world either. And so you strip down to your shorts and you basically do a little bit of breathing techniques to just kind of warm up, do a little bit of exercises to get your blood flowing. We did a couple of push-ups and a couple of squats. I think I did some jump squats as well, just to kind of get the blood flowing and then you jump in the freezing cold water. And basically your body's first reaction is, I gotta get the fuck out of here because you feel it in every single inch of your body. Your toes go numb, your fingers go numb, your hands go numb, your arms go numb, your heart races, and it's really tough to breathe. It takes the wind out of you. And essentially your body and mind are telling you the entire time to get out. Your fight or flight kicks in, every single part of your body is telling you to stop what you're doing and get your clothes back on and get back in the warmth of your vehicle. And so the idea behind this is to try and stay in as long as you possibly can. Obviously you don't want to give yourself hypothermia or anything like that. We did make sure as well that we had someone there that had their first aid. Obviously Aiden is actually certified to be a firefighter if you haven't watched our prior episodes. So it was nice to have somebody there that was trained in first aid just in case we needed to. We tried to be as safe as possible that way. 
but essentially it was just a process of embracing things that suck. The physical experience of having your body tell you that this is a bad idea and to get out now, but having the mental fortitude to stay calm in a panicked situation and try and just collect your thoughts and collect your breath back, try and get it back to normal so you can get your heart rate back to normal and kind of calm your mind in a stressful situation. These are things that I kind of try to strive for in my day-to-day -day life. Whether it be waking up at ungodly hours, going for runs at four o'clock in the morning in the freezing cold in the winter, or last year when you may or may not have seen on my Instagram and social media, I was going for bike rides in the snow and ice. These are all things that I do to try and prep myself for the stresses that life is going to throw at me. Because at the end of the day, no matter what, I mean, unless you have somehow a perfect life, life is going to throw you curveballs. Life is going to throw you stressors and it's going to throw you into situations where you might not feel like you're strong enough yet. My perspective and my outlook on it is this. The more you try and front load your suffering and front load your pain, and what I mean by that is to take it on intentionally, to go out and seek discomfort on a daily basis, the better prepared your brain and body are going to be when life throws you things like this without you wanting it. So when you get thrown family emergencies or medical emergencies or pandemics in your life, since you seek out discomfort all the time and you seek to stress your brain and your body out on a constant basis, when life throws you these curveballs, you're a lot more adaptive and you're able to kind of recollect your thoughts and recollect your consciousness and almost ground yourself so that you can make an educated decision based off of fact, based off of the way that a situation truly is rather than the way that you feel about a situation. And so this was something that really interested me. I know this is gonna be a short episode, so if you're just listening to the podcast version, I'm gonna say I'm gonna to have to hit you up with a longer episode soon. That being said, if you're watching the YouTube video, you're gonna see the clip coming up where we actually do the cold plunge. If you're interested in checking that out and kind of seeing the process of how we went about it, then you could feel free to check out that clip. And if you are someone that has done a cold plunge and you have any tips for me or any local spots in Vancouver that I need to go and check out, then feel free to comment them below if you're watching the YouTube video of this or message me on any single social media platform at Mark D. Henny. And you can let me know there, either in a comment or a direct message. And I'll be able to share these kinds of things with people in the future as well. Obviously, if it's a secret spot where you like to go for cold plunges or hikes, then I'm not gonna share too much information because we don't wanna overpopulate these spots. I completely understand that. That being said, go out and seek some discomfort today or within this week. That's your weekly challenge. If you're watching this or listening to this right now, is go out and find something that makes you uncomfortable, something that you're almost scared of, and go out and try your best to conquer it. And even if you don't feel like you succeeded with that, then at least the next time you try and attempt it, you'll know where your weaknesses were and you'll know what you'll be able to work on. And if you don't from there, then you'll be able to kind of take that information, maybe find someone who's done it before and succeeded at it and consult with them. So without further ado, if you're watching the podcast version of this, farewell. Thank you so much for listening. And you are the reason that I do what I do. If you're watching the YouTube video version of this, then stick around because you're about to see the clip of us doing a cold plunge. Thank you so much. So go out and have a good day, a good week, a good month, and a good year. Thank you so much and peace out. Love you.
fucking sucked.